Good evening, I'm Paula Arcana. And I'm Laura Yamada. Manoa residents vividly remember the 40 plus days of flooding rain back in the spring of 06. And tonight, they learn details of an upcoming state project that aims to prevent future, de future devastating floods. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with the community's reaction to this project. Jody? Paula, Laura, Manoa residents who experienced this flood are relieved. They've waited four years for the state to build what's called dispersion channels on Round Top Drive. The channels will collect runoff and prevent the kind of flooding we saw in 2006. The rain runoff poured into Manoa neighborhoods. The state found two drainage culverts along Round Top Drive, discharged the runoff directly onto Manoa homes below. There was a straight track down basically to our house. Michael Hoffman's Manoa home was among several that suffered extensive flood damage. Hoffman and other Manoa residents have been waiting four years for the state to take this last step in preventing such a devastating flood from ever happening again. We were pushing for it for a long time. I've pushed for this all this time. The state plans to build two concrete dispersion channels at each of the two drainage culverts along Round Top. Each channel will be about 160 feet long. So this hopefully will um, disperse the channel, spread it out over a, l a larger area, which will minimize the damage. The channels will disperse the rain runoff over an area of 150 feet. We were told by uh, several engineers that given the circumstances, this was the best idea. Uh, to resolve the problem in a permanent way. Wendell Hoshino also supports the plan. I believe in that should be done or should have been done first, but it's beginning done now, so thank you. But some Round Top residents have expressed concern over the project's impact on the appearance of the mountainside. We're prepared to mitigate that with um, planting some vegetation as well. The state says work will be done Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. There will be a one-lane closure during construction hours. Now the state has hired contractor RHS Lee to build the channels at a cost of about $1.1 million. Construction is set to start on June 1st and be complete by the end of October. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 News.